This is tutorial number 31, and it covers how to do a basic assembly within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a new assembly file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard.IAM, and click OK. Now we have a brand new assembly file open. Now what we're going to have to do first is bring components in, and they're all located on the DVD. So let's click Place Component and all the components that we're going to use in this assembly are called assemble cube, assemble cube cylinder, assemble gear, and assemble shaft. To start off, let's put in assemble cube, so let's click open, and it puts one in automatically. It puts one in automatically, and then you're able to place as many more as you want in, but if there's only one that you need, all you have to do is right click, click done, and you have your part. Now let's bring in another component, so let's click place component and we'll click assemble shaft click open and we'll put the shaft in right click done now what we're gonna have to do is start mating these components together so we're gonna have to mate this bottom square of the shaft to go into the cube there so to start doing mates for the assembly what you have to do is click constraint and then we're going to click the back face of the square there. So let's click it and then we'll rotate it around and we'll click the square here. Click OK and we've done our first mate. Now this mate allows it, if we rotate around you can see better, it's always going to be touching or in line with that face there. But it can go left, right, up, down. So we need to do a bit a few more mates to it. So let's rotate this a little bit and let's do some mates. So let's click constraint, we'll click this face here and we'll rotate this a bit and we'll click this side face here and we've done another mate. Click OK and now it can't go left or right, it can't go up or down, it can't go up or down in this direction here but it still can move up or down here so we need to make one more mate to close this so let's click constraint we'll mate this face here rotate this a bit and we'll click this face here click OK and now we've made this fully defined so you can't move that shaft out of the cube so now let's put another component in let's click place component and we'll get the cube cylinder this time. Click open and we'll bring it in. Right click done just to keep one in there. So what we're gonna have to do is first we're gonna mate this face here to the face inside of the cylinder of the cube. So let's click constraint, click this face here, rotate this a bit to see that face and we'll mate it to that face in there click OK. And if we rotate it around you can see that it's along that face there. So now what we have to do is mate the cylinder to the cylinder inside the cube. So let's click constraint and to do to do mates on cylinders you're gonna have to select their axes. So what we're gonna have to do is click this axis here, rotate it around and then click this axis here if we can get it right there and we've made it in. click OK and if we move it around you can see that it's fully mated there it's on the shaft but this still moves left to right and it goes in a circle now if we want it just to be on one position and not moving around we're gonna have to mate it so let's click constraint and we're gonna have to click the angle we'll click this face here and this face here and right now it's mated at zero degrees if we put it to 45 it's at 45 if we put it to 70 it's at 70 degrees we want it at zero so we'll leave it at zero click OK and now we fully define that cube onto that shaft now let's put our last component in Let's press place component and we'll get the gear 
click open and now we have our gear right click done and let's make this gear onto the shaft so let's click constraint so we'll click the axis of the gear here and the axis of the shaft click OK and now our gear is able to move along the shaft and that concludes our tutorial on how to do a basic assembly with an Autodesk Inventor.